Kathy Brennan here, helping you to look better, feel better, and do better. This week's habit is delaying gratification. Make a habit of delaying gratification. There was an experiment done called the marshmallow experiment, where they took children and they set them in a room and gave them one marshmallow. And they told the children, if you can wait until I come back, you'll get another marshmallow. But if you can't wait and you eat the marshmallow, you won't get a second one. Well, the researcher left the room and some of the children ate the marshmallow right away and others could wait and delay gr gratification. Now they followed up with these kids later in life and they uh, determined that those that were willing to wait, those that could delay gratifying themselves in the moment as children, were more successful in life. They had that skill. They knew how to stop and wait uh, in order to get even a bigger prize. So how does this show up in our lives? Well, delaying gratification might mean saving money for a car before you buy one or buying a less expensive car because that's the amount of money you have instead of the one that you really want right now. It can also be vacations and clothes and technology. Instead of buying them immediately when you want them, saving money for them. Delay gratifying yourself just right when you want it. it it's not just money though. It can be with food. You can learn to delay gratifying yourself with food. Sometimes we eat just because because we want to eat right now because that looks good instead of what we know is good for us or what uh, time of day it is or how much we've already had to eat or how it will affect our sleep. We don't delay gratifying ourselves in that instant. We don't think about the rest of that stuff. Now, it can also go with work. So I know at work, often I want to just do the easiest tasks first. That's that's easy. That's not delaying gratification. Delaying gratification is I start with a harder one, get that done, and then I can just reward myself with a little, with an easier task. Or and another way to do this is with your tongue. So uh, it's easy to just give into your emotion and lash out at someone or say something unkind uh, or not thoughtful because you don't know how to delay gratifying yourself. You're just like spew out whatever comes, ever thought comes into your mind. So this is a good habit to delay those gratifications. Now, many of us have lost this skill. I think it's because we're in such an instant society. We have so many things that make our life easier, which is good. And it's, it's, uh, not a, it, it doesn't even make us have to just delay gratifying ourselves. We don't have to plan ahead for things very often, so we don't even know how to do that. So it's a skill that we're losing because of all the conveniences we have. Um, now, delaying gratification starts with an intention. What do you, what, what is your goal? Where do you want to get to? What kind of relationships do you want? What kind of physical health do you want? What kind of spiritual understanding do you want? What, what, um, how do you want your schedule to go? Do you want to be able to um, meet with people on a regular basis or just kind of fly by the seat of your pants? It starts with an intention, like what do you want? Maybe you want like nothing on your calendar. You just want to, if something pops up, you want to do that way. If that's what you want, then that's what you that's what you want to work towards it also has to do with our values what you value so if you value time with family for example and uh, then all of a sudden you have an opportunity to fly out of town to go see a friend but you really value time with your family you will delay that oh that opportunity to go see your friend because you want to spend time with your family. Now it's never that simple, but here the idea is that you need to know what you value so that you can 
uh, care for it and protect it and take responsibility for those things that are valuable in your life. So why is this a good habit? Well, anything of value, like we were just talking about what's valuable to you, but things of value take time and effort and or money to get to. Things that are very valuable. They don't just happen instantly. So when we learn to delay gratification, we learn to put in the investment, the time, the energy, the money to invest towards something down the road that we, is valuable to us. If you want to learn to play piano, you're going to have to practice, set aside time and set aside energy and practice piano. That's how you learn piano. It doesn't just happen instantly. So if you don't know how to set aside time and set aside energy and practice, you will never become a piano player. And if you want to become a piano player, that's what it's going to take. And that's the same with fitness, with your physical health, with your mental health. Same thing. We have to set aside time and energy and or money to become better at our mental health skills, our physical health skills, and our spiritual health skills. So another reason it's a good habit to delay gratification is because you become... It helps your emotional well-being. Your, your confidence will grow as you're making good decisions towards these long-term things that you want in your life, not short-term things that just look fun in the, in the moment. You know how to delay gratifying yourself so that you can have the life that you want. That doesn't mean everything's out in the future either. That emotional well-being happens right now. We feel good when we're controlling our own thoughts and emotions and behaviors. When you also, when you learn to delay gratification, your life just gets easier. Things don't get all discombobulated and unorganized and chaotic because you're being very intentional about what you're doing and thinking and saying and believing and how you're acting. You're just gonna make better decisions when you delay just simply gratifying yourself. That's the, that's the problem. If you're just thinking about yourself and just gratifying yourself, you don't make good decisions. We really need to make, we don't make those in a bubble. So how do you start this habit? Like almost every habit, I say start small. Start, find out something that you are just not delaying gratification. Find something you're doing kind of impulsively and start to work on that. And see, you know, maybe think about what could I do if that piece of chocolate cake shows up at dessert? What, how could I, how am I gonna manage that? Because that's a place where I always fall down and I always do it and I don't wanna do it and then I suffer the consequences. So start small, start noticing the little things you do uh, that you're not delaying gratification. As we talked about goals, write out your goals. This will be very good for you and it just informs you about how to do decision making in your life and you're less likely to just gratify yourself because you'll know what myself really wants is that thing down the road a little bit and I'm willing to just back off a little bit on delaying, uh, gratifying myself right now for that. And also with your values, figure out what your value. There's no right or wrong. And I would say limit it to three things. I know this is, there are just so many things to value. Uh, and it's really good when you know what you value, because again, it helps your decision making and you're less likely to gratify yourself instead of do what you actually value. I also recommend staying in the moment, and this is what I mean by that. Do not react based on your fears from the past or the way you've habitually reacted to things, especially if they're not working. Don't let that happen. And don't think about what you fear in the future. That also will not be a good thing. That just is too overwhelming, all that. So when we're mindful and staying in the moment, we can see more clearly what I can control, what I can't control, what would be a good choice at this moment. And you're less likely to just go, oh, this is what I want, and so I'll do that. 
we are more likely to uh, make a, a good wise choice which was my habit last week and then um, be aware of those emotions that act that cause you to be impulsive our emotions can be a really big first place to start because when we're gratifying ourselves we're probably taking care of some pains or some hurts or some childlike behaviors we're, we're we haven't um uh dealt with our emotions so that's why we try to gratify ourselves in this act this moment so be aware of what emotions and then again figure out how am i going to deal with that when that comes up and here's something i'll have to say about emotions they come and go just like instantly you can be happy one moment and sad the next and happy again yet the next moment it's absolutely true and you you know this is true i I've, I've given other examples of how this happens i don't want to belabor that point right now but learn to manage those emotions and be aware of the ones that are causing you to gratify yourself and finally celebrate your successes if you find oh hey i'm learning how to do that i I walked four times this week and that's what I want to do because I want to go on a long hike at the end of the year when you've done that give yourself some kind of reward celebrate those successes this doesn't have to be all hard work and it it may seem you know to a child delaying gratification is is really hard they don't they don't have the skills to do it as we grow and mature that our ability to do that grows more and more and as we develop that skill and develop that um, superpower, that will really uh, give you confidence and it's a good habit that leads to a good life. Make a habit of delaying gratification. Be well.